us to the sixth episode in a series of episodes where we are looking at the 2023 internal mathematics paper one the last five episodes covered the question one through five and if you haven't seen them go back and check on our youtube channel there is a playlist dedicated to this paper so in this paper we are looking at question six and again i'm still asking if you're interested in testing the new app that is a companion with this channel please check on the link below and email me indicating that you're interested in the trying it at trying it out and giving me the feedback before the app goes public so the email is in the description section just send me and when sending use the gmail account so let us look at question six in detail the venn diagram shows three sets p q and r use set notation to describe the shaded part so what we are required is to use set notation to describe the area which is shaded so I'll give you two ways you can answer this question but the answer is still the same so the quickest way you can do is is look at these sets in pair so if you look at in this part I'm going to use the red this part is the intersection set between P and Q so this one becomes P intersection Q that's the first part then the second part is we have p intersection r which is this one p intersection r then we are combining these two sets because remember when you are finding the union of two sets the repeated elements which are these one you won't pick them once so you sum these what you end up with you see this set which is p intersection q union p intersection r then you can simplify this by using the distributive law of sets what this tells me is because there's p intersection and there is in p intersection here so this one we can factor it out by them distributive law of sets so we have p intersection then we have q union r which is now q union r this is the simplified version which is what is expected of you but again should you end here you still get some marks but this is the simplified answer so this is how you get it you can still get the same answer if you just looked at it from a different perspective which will be the quicker way that i'm going to explain to you so what do you do you are going to look at this part so if you combine this set and this set you are going to have this set entire set which will be q union r so this q union r you intersect it with p intersect it with p what are going to remain is this region this region is what will be the intersection and this is the answer we are getting that answer is still the same we're just we are arranging it now it becomes p intersection q union r you still get the same answer looking at it from different perspective so this is how you answer this question to get the two marks